So Professor Nias, yeah. you are in charge of the project, cooperation project with ZEF on improving irrigation water use in the Punjab province. And this project has started around two years ago. Yeah. And we also had an interview then with you and you said that you had rather high expectations of the, of the whole project in terms of skills training, capacity development and the first German-Pakistani cooperation yeah. of your university, even of your new yeah. university. So which of your expectations have been met and what are the tasks still to be done? Uh, as I mentioned last time, uh, uh, this is a, a very important project for Pakistan and not easy project because our irrigation system is very rigid. Uh, rigid means it flows, water flows all the time whether it is required or not required. So we are looking at how to make this project, uh, this system flexible. Flexible means when uh, farmer needs how much water and how it should be uh, given to him as per his need. So that is a uh, very difficult question. We went to farmers, we went, we had meetings within the team, within the farmers and discussed a lot that uh, different options with the farmers and uh, collecting a lot of data and it interacting with the farmers and our discussing in our meetings we come with the different options that this is this is one way to do the system flexible this is another way to do the system flexible and then the most important part of uh, these option is that farm must be productive the farmer must be getting better yield than before so these were the task of the projects so now we after collecting a lot of data we are at the point that where we can conclude and make recommendation for our government. This this is the this is the best uh, part of that. Yes, uh, we have been successful uh, developing different options which are acceptable to farmers, and I hope it will be uh, acceptable to government when when they go to the government after conclusion. What have the students learned from this project? Yeah, that, that's the best part. I miss that, that uh, the students were part of this because all the data were collected by the students mm -hmm. under our directions. How many students were involved? Uh, first, the five uh, students have five to seven students have completed their master thesis and we have added uh, five, five more. Mm -hmm. So there will be almost 12 students mm -hmm. who will be completing their master uh, this is a research mm. and basically that is what we needed out of this project mm. the capacity building exactly. of students that they are going under direct our directions as a team from ZEF as well as from Pakistan mm. that this is what we need from the farmers and they collected all the what water flows crop water requirements are mm. the data needed for this for going a better mm. uh, conclusion and recommendations but what has been the asset of this project couldn't have the students done this without the project or what kind of impetus did it give? Uh, the students, uh, basic thing is that uh, when students uh, students are involved in the projects, they become aware of the problem, that what is the real problem because they don't know what we know as a, as a seniors. But when they start collecting data mm -hmm. and they discuss with us why we are collecting this data, so that is a capacity building of the students mm -hmm. for the situation in the Pakistan mm -hmm. because water not in Pakistan all over the world is a big issue and for Pakistan as the agriculture is most important so that is the student capacity building our awareness about mm -hmm. the issue it, last time you told us that it is the first time that students actually work with farmers yeah. or so called stakeholders. Yeah, you are right. You are right. So, um, what have they told themselves about this experience? That is wonderful because uh, they, they are with the real world. Mm -hmm. So, you see that if we are just limited up to university boundary and uh, after completion one student go to face the real world, it's a lot of difficulties. But when students are already in the real world, and talking about uh, the real people, the stakeholders, 
who is the farmer there, mm -hmm. they are different stuff. They are different product of university. And I believe that those who got chance working with this project, they are the asset for the country. They are the best, best students who will be handling this situation in future. Okay, and in terms of capacity building for your university? Yeah, that, that's another thing that uh, when the team from ZEF went to Pakistan, uh, they, our faculty, I was dean uh, of the faculty at that time, and I gave uh, my all faculty member this chance that they should sit with other students mm -hmm. uh, who were supervising or the committee members of different students. They got a meeting uh, chance with the ZEF team. They interacted and there was training capacity mm -hmm. uh, building uh, kind of this uh, model training yeah. and uh, software trainings like this aqua crab model. And so we discussed at our level that was a uh, aware, not only awareness, but let me say that uh, capacity building of the faculty as well that they were then giving to their students, collecting data and putting everything together for thesis, yes. So faculty and student both were involved in this project in Pakistan. So, uh, Professor mm -hmm. Niaz, this is all very good news. And yeah. um, what are the perspectives? What's the way forward yeah, after this, this project? Th this is a really very good question that uh, after learning a lot from this project and coming to very good uh, conclusions and recommendations, uh, which will be discussed in the final workshop we are planning in Pakistan, where uh, the leadership from ZEF will be going and joining us and we will finalize the projects. We are looking forward to just uh, get um, help from other water organizations like IMI. And uh, right now, as I mentioned, that I have uh, been elevated as a vice chancellor of Aided Agriculture University, Rawalpindi. So we will be putting Rawalpindi University in this project as well. And uh, with the best option, we will go in the field and test it with the farmers and involving students work best building. Is it also the novelty that you bring your scientific results to the policy makers? Sure, sure. This, this is very important mm -hmm. because uh, after uh, with the best options and uh, after discussing and uh, finalizing that this is the best one within, within what we are planning and mm -hmm. submitting, Surely we want to go forward for that, test with the farmers, get uh, approved from the government sides and uh, uh, go in the real field with the farmer that how it performs. Okay, yeah. thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you.